Hello, everybody. Aaron here, and I'm Plolian. Hey, guys. And welcome back to Nancy Drew, a treasure in a royal tower. Or in the royal tower. I keep saying it wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to go ahead and skip ahead. Nope, uh, that's not far enough. It's 12 hours. Ha, 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 ha. There we go. Ah. Get to enjoy the beast with us here. Bring back the childhood trauma of having to get up <laughs> for school. Okay. <sighs> One thing I've noticed, and I keep meaning to do this. George, is turn so this the heck down <laughs> music is so loud in these games they did not do a very good job of mixing them tis one thing i will say the music's excellent don't get me wrong but i just uh I'm not the fan of the oops of the loud music it's still pretty loud yeah Whatever. Oh, oh, what's this? It appears to be some kind of peephole. But what, pray, does it peep upon? You peeping Shall I peep? <laughs> la la, I do believe I'll peep. <laughs> <gasps> the beauty, the colors. So this is what Helga told me to look for. Where's my medallion? <gasps> it fits. Note to self, high five team Hotchkiss. And what's this? A message? Eureka! It says the diamond. Oh no. Did it die again? Must have, but do we need it again? I don't know. We'll put it on charge just in case. I mean, we might be able to just go there and then presumably she knows French. It's fair. Nancy doesn't. Aha. There we go. Blue medallion. La verite est tutors. I I li de taut le monde. Vous trevereres la solution de dans. The sad part is I took French for like a year in middle school. I don't recall at all. It's a hard language to learn, that's for sure. Then we've got a crescent moon, a sideways trident. It kind of looks like an E. Kind of. And the drop. Yep. Okay, that's one. We also have the green medallion. Uh, so it says the same on top. Le diamond de, de ma misery. Dans mon journal. The diamond of my misery. Dans, dans. Is in my journal? Probably. And there's a snowflake and a reverse E. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Check. I'm going to butcher this. Checks quish chachant. And there's a star and a fancy E. <laughs> <laughs> They're all just E's in some way. Kind of looks like a feather almost. Yeah, almost. And did you get the order of those? I did. Okay. Now, presumably, we can do something with Hodgkiss telling us what the fudge it all means. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. Hodge kiss. Yes, dear. Aha, I knew it. Uh, this one first. What does l'espoir à ceux qui cherchent mean? Hmm, let's see. Well, espoir is hope, and chercher is to search. Hope to those who search. Hope to those who search. Gotcha. Can you translate this for me? Le diamant de misère. Dans mon journal. Now, where the heck have I seen that phrase before? Well, well, anyway, it means the diamond of misery in my journal. Okay. Can you tell me what this means in English? La solution se trouve dedans. Well, trouver is to find, and solution is just like it sounds. Solution. The solution is found within. The solution is found within. See you soon. Right-o! 
the solution is found within within her journal but where's her journal that's a good question i mean we haven't been up to the tower no we haven't um i guess we're on the first floor we just need to make sure the elevator's on either this floor or the next one in order to get down there mm -hmm. so we could try going up to the tower Sounds like a plan. Why can I not walk forward? There we go. It is already on this floor. Cool. It's locked. You don't say. We'll unlock it. Three star seven two. Got it. Cool. Okay. Let's see. We need to go up this way. Crawl through the thing. Down we go. Ugh. Nice and squeaky. Time for your favorite puzzle. I. That's the wrong way. I it's done screwed locked. up. I just. Gosh dang. <laughs> oh my. Oh my goodness. <sighs> How did I just do that? I don't know. I turned the wrong way. I got turned around down there. It's fair. Again. With meaning something. With, I don't with, know. with feeling. Feeling, that's the words. <laughs> Three star seven two. You're gonna have that code memorized here soon. Already do. <laughs> Here we go. Again. Back into the bed. Down the steps. Into the squeaky trap door. Turn to the left. <laughs> My favorite puzzle. sound mostly that's fair that's really it's very squeaky. loud hello eh, what just happened i don't know there we go we sprinted down the hall and i got scared for a second why did you get scared because it's you never know what's gonna jump out at you in this game why do you i took have his that? you're locked you took his pointy thing skeleton key there we go Okay. Oh, this puzzle. Oh. I didn't actually mean to move things because I didn't look at. Ah. For the love of. What is that supposed to be? That. Oh, gotcha. The reverse of what I thought it was supposed to be. I think it's kind of points it out on the gotcha. wall or something. That one I remember just because of how much of a pain it can be. It's fair. There's nothing here. Hey, look, a tower. <laughs> Is this the treasure in the royal tower? <gasps> what? Oh, no. Oh. Uh, I forgot. Oh, I don't mind these kinds I of puzzles. I know you don't. <laughs> I mind them, though. <laughs> We have to get like another set there or something. Yeah. So like. Because this is kind of where it needs to be. Right. Uh, move the pink one. Uh, away from the blue one. Now move the blue one up to the right. Well, that doesn't help me with this one, though. Yeah. I've got those two figured out. It's figuring out how to get this one in here. Also fair. 
trying to figure out how to get two of them lined up like this. Um. Got it. You did it. Okay. Now, I need the blue one to be where the pink one is now. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Now this one can go here and yep. here and here. You did it! Hooray! We did it! We did it! We did it! That is the most we did it! Lots of sounds. Yeah, that was the... Steps. There's a thing there that I didn't look at, but I'm scared to look at it now. That's fair. Because I don't want to have to do that puzzle again. It's true. What does that do? Uh, probably bad things. Yeah, sound, sounds like it would be. Hey, look, we're in the royal tower. Oh. Hey, look, a puzzle. <laughs> Edge pieces first. Yes, the problem is I can... Can I turn these? I don't think Yes, so. I have to be able to because that... That's fair. How do you turn That's them? That's the top one. Is it? It's part of the top row. You just gotta... There we go. Yeah. This is going to be a nuisance. Yeah, it is. Okay, you can only do it on the corner. Uh, so the bottom pieces are going to have the little points. Yeah, the little tiny points. Yeah. The corners are a little more obvious, though. Yeah. That obviously doesn't go there. No. Okay. This one here. That's the other corner piece. Okay. So that's the bottom corner done. That doesn't go there, but I think it might go there. No, that's not quite right, but that's right. Mm-hmm. It's the one above it that's so this has to go to the other side. Mm-hmm. So that would mean... No, it's not that one. Those two must be the other side. Ah, it's, there it is. That corner is wrong. Journal. Probably. Looks like a keyhole of some sorts. Yes, yes, it does. With some symbols around it, if you at least and a couple other symbols. Okay. Um. Presumably, this is in French, which we don't speak. So. Uh. Hodgkiss. Uh. Yeah. I'm not looking forward Probably. to if I have to do that puzzle again. Hmm, looks like some kind of prison. Good to know. <laughs> Keep that in mind for the future. There we go. Moving onward. Moving backward? <laughs> what time is it? It's 5.30? Yep. Might be able to swing it to get it to her this time. Ugh sound. Yeah, it's a little crunchy. Ah. Yes, dear? I found something that I think you'll be very interested in. It seems to be some kind of journal. I think it was written by Marie Antoinette herself. What? Let me see that. <gasps> this is it. I've been trying to track this down for 15 years. Where on earth did you find it? Well, it's a long story, but I happened to find a way into the Queen's Tower, where I happened to find a secret compartment. I think this must be what the Vandal was after. Nancy, I must warn you. I'll wrestle you for this if I have to, and it won't <laughs> be pretty. <laughs> I'm sure physical <sighs> combat won't be necessary, Professor. I'm glad to help you with your work. 
but I need your assistance in return. You're fluent in French, aren't you? Absolutely. I'll get to work on it right away. I'll have the translation ready in my room for you this time tomorrow. Until then, I mustn't be disturbed. Nice. Like, actually this time? So, like, six? <laughs> um, do we just wait until tomorrow again? I guess so. Like, I don't see any reason to talk to any of the other hooligans. Not really. I think we'll wait until three. Yeah. Six is when she's done with. Wait, is that going backwards? Yes. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> I've played these games for years. <laughs> probably a decade, and I never knew that. I almost prefer, like, the analog clock with the little bell on it to that sound. Yeah, absolutely. Should we go down and talk to her first? Sure. I mean, if she's not there, then it means she's still working on it. Yeah. It means Nancy gets to sleep for another 24 hours. <laughs> Aha. I'm so glad you stopped by. I've translated the entire journal. It's fabulous. And as an added bonus, it includes Marie's official decoder, something no one else has ever found before. Good okay. for you. See you soon. Goodbye. Okay. That's that one. Yep. So... Aha. My husband is like an impossible child. I still cannot believe Louis brought this tiara, bought this tiara when the French economy is in so much trouble. I told him I didn't want it. He do what does he expect me to do with it? I cannot wear it. The people hate me already. They call me Madam Deficit. What if the country's debt w were all my fault? As I if. wish I could sell it. As if the country, yeah, okay. Wish I could sell it and return the money to France. But this would embarrass Louis publicly now. If he and I appear divided, the mob will erupt. They'll overthrow the monarchy in no time, and we'll find ourselves kneeling at the guillotine. 18 December 1788. I have thought of a plan. I will will have the tiara dismantled. There is a dear old jeweler, Claude M, in a village near Rochemont, who will do it for me. I trust him with my life. Once the stones are removed, Claude will make the ruby, the emerald, and the sapphire into ornamental medallions. These I will scatter ac across the continent. The diamond is worth untold millions and must be returned to the French people. But not now. Not while the country is tearing itself apart. I will hide it as carefully as I would hide the key to my soul, so that is so that it will not be discovered for generations. Someday, when the medallions are brought back together and my message is decoded, the diamond will be found. But it will uh, take an extraordinary person, and I don't believe it will happen until the wounds of this revolution have healed, and history has wrought a new, more rational French order of some kind. Finally, when the people's wealth is returned to them. This diamond of misery will be restored to its magnif magnificent beauty. 27 December, 1788. Tomorrow, I will have my portrait painted by the great Marcel Bonnet. I have announced that I will not wear the tiara. Louis is furious. He does not even know that the wretched crown no longer exists. I have sent the emerald medallion to Vienna to my dear cousin, the Baroness Helga von Honseldorf, as a token of my affection. The ruby and the sapphire remain in my secret compartment, where I keep this journal but soon I will decide where to send them. My own court speaks viciously of me, and I feel terribly alone. I only hope that someday, years from now, my actions will be better understood. If you are reading this, know that my honor shall be blue, our courage shall be red, and your loyalty shall be green. I wish you well, weary traveler. Hmm. You get that part? I did. Okay. Let's see if Hodgkiss has any uh, brilliant ideas as to what this means. Right. Because it means basically nothing to me. Hello.
Hello there. Oh, it's so exciting about your discovery. I wonder what it will lead to. Hmm. See Great. you soon. Cool. Right -o. Excellent. Fabulous. It's presumably back to the Royal Tower? Yeah. Can't think what else to do. Those symbols have got to mean the words, but I couldn't tell you which symbols mean what. Yeah. Yeah, Plus, I mean, the fear to lease. Oh, is that courage or loyalty? I don't remember. It's been a Plus, long time. I feel like we need a key of some sort. It's yeah. Locked. I know where it is, but I don't know how to get it. Okay. Let's see if I have to do this twice again. <laughs> I feel like this would be very uncomfortable. A little bit. I'm only slightly claustrophobic, and that just seems horrible to me. I'm sure Nancy's determined enough. Okay, to the left. Got it. We did it. We did it. It's locked. Why'd you lock it behind you, Nancy? So nobody else could get in. Obviously. Okay. I don't like the fact Three, that we have to keep five. doing this puzzle. I'm just pulling random chains, in all honesty. It's fair. There we go. You got it. Okay. That's the wrong way again. Don't make me do this other puzzle, please. Good. Okay. Not that way. Can I, can I, can I? There we go. Looks like a keyhole of some sort. Yeah. Hmm. Uh. I honestly don't have a clue. Because we need the key, obviously, to put the medallions in. Oh my gosh. I remembered something, and I'm annoyed. Oh, do we have to look at that portrait? No. No? There's something else in Hotchkiss's room. Oh, is there? Yes. I was sitting here thinking, I'm like, I know I'm missing something. And yes, yes I am. It's kind of how these games go, is that you just remember something. Yeah, if you've played it before, yes, it is that way. What time is it? Or something? Cool. Yeah. Plenty of time to run up to her room. Yeah. Cause you remember she said something about there being a decoder right yeah we didn't uh we didn't look at a decoder is it that thing in the top left corner i think yes. i see what the symbols in the stained glass mean now let's okay, so see the... purple rose hold diamond key of queen but where have i seen a purple rose and what's right. a diminute key loyalty is the fleur de lis okay yeah ro loyalty is the fear de lis um honor is what was what was it it's uh, courage courage is the upside down trident courage is the upside down trident the m whatever you want to call it what's the other one um the other one is honor and that's the right set up trident gotcha
Gosh dang it. <laughs> Sometimes I feel very dumb. It could happen to anybody. Yeah. I mean, the thing that helps with this, in at least the recording sense, is well, I'm familiar enough with these it's games not. to where I can work out um, in my mind what I've done wrong most of the time. Because, like, this game I've probably played four times. More than the last one. That's fair. There will be some games that we get to that I have played so many times that I can almost do it in my sleep. Right. There's definitely one game that we'll get to that I feel the same way about. Yeah. And there's one thing that always trips me up in that game. I always forget and I overlook it and then I get stuck and I'm like, what's wrong? And it's because I didn't find this one thing. And it probably also doesn't help that you put it on the Wii. Yeah, that's true. I totally give the way which one it is though. <laughs> yes. Here we go again. Time for this puzzle. Uh. Ta da! To be fair, that one's not a hard puzzle. It's just figuring out which chains to pull in the right order. It's also fair. There's probably a very quick way that you can do that, but whatever. Okay. No, not that. Aha! A key. A square shaped key. Looks like a keyhole of some sort. Yes, right. Up, but looks like in. a keyhole of some sort. Do I have to put each of the, the things in? Maybe. So the red one's the upside down trident. The red one is? Yes. And the green one is the fleur de lis. And then the blue one's the right side up trident. Okay. That went very far down. Look at that diamond. The diamond. Woo! Will you look at that sparkly rock? And me without my sunglasses. Hi, Lisa. How did you get in here? I followed you, of course. Turns out a nosy goody two-shoes detective is good to have around after all. Now, why don't you toss me that big honking diamond so I can blow this popsicle stand and never set foot in Lamo, Wisconsin again? <laughs> How dare Lisa, you? You must be kidding me. This diamond belongs in a museum in France. You must not have yeah. the cheese here. Well, I belong in the lap of luxury, and that I diamond's either, gonna get me there. Hasn't anybody ever told you to mind your own business? Yes, they tell me that, but I never listen. Oh, many times. <laughs> well, maybe this time you'll learn. No. No. Pepper spray. My eyes. Why'd you keep your Don't eyes worry. open, Nance? My spicy devil villain venom won't last for long. But I'm afraid by the time you get your eyes back, you'll have missed my grand exit. Are you the one who caught me on the head in the locker room? Ouch. <laughs> I bet that hurt. But I had to get the medallion somehow, didn't I? I hope we can still be friends. Why did you leave Jacques' medallion at Hotchkiss's room? <coughs> and Hotchkiss's medallion out in the shed? To spread suspicion around, of course. You know, to play with your mind. Plus, I was at a dead end. I got the two messages from the stained glass window, but then what? I knew you would figure it out, so I decided to put the medallions in your hands and let you lead the way. Why are you doing this? <coughs> Haven't you heard? It's a material world, sister, and I am a material oh girl. Gosh. <laughs> Photojournalism <laughs> pays peanuts, you know, and who wants to work for a living anyway? I was made for a tropical climate, lounge chairs and cabana boys. Why did you have to vandalize that beautiful library? Just a little translation mix-up. When I read the message from Hotchkiss's medallion, I thought it meant diamond of misery in the library. Whoops. <laughs> That's Guess I went a little overboard really? looking for it in there. How did you mistranslate anyway, that? Anyway, enough with the questions, Nancy. 
You'll just have to read the rest in the papers. Uh-oh. I've got to stop her. Press the button. Ah, help! Get me out of here! It stinks down here. It's all moldy. Darn you, Nancy Drew. You're the worst friend a diamond thief could ever have. <laughs> I would hope so. That's the Dear best Dad, kind of friend to, to have. Think I almost became friends with a diamond thief. Did you? Everyone at Wickford Castle is resting easier now that Marie Antoinette's journal and her famous diamond are safe and sound. The journal, the diamond, and the medallions are all going to be featured in a new Marie Antoinette exhibit in Paris. And it looks like everyone will be rewarded. <laughs> Except Lisa, of course. First, she missed her plane to Rio. And now she's going to be charged with attempted grand theft. Professor Hodgkiss is thrilled because the French government has granted her permission to publish Marie's journal in the U.S. before it gets returned to France. This ought to help prove her theory about Marie's character once and for all. Thanks to Jacques and his great-grandfather's efforts to find the journal, the Brunet name is being celebrated all over France. In the meantime, Jacques and Isabelle have eloped. It's so romantic. I showed Dexter the poem that Ezra Wickford wrote him, and he was relieved to know that his old pop didn't carry any hard feelings to his grave. All the talk shows want Dexter to tell his story on national television, but he keeps turning them down. I guess he doesn't want to be famous or infamous. But when Christy Lane called and asked Dexter to be her business partner, he accepted. With her business sense and Dexter's expert knowledge of the castle, I think they'll make a great team. So, you know what they say, Dad. Il n'est jamais trop tard de changer l'histoire. It's never too late to change history. Me, I'm determined to go out and enjoy this snow before some other case comes up. See you soon. Love, Nancy. <laughs> and as always, there will always be another case. Oh, absolutely. So, treasure in the royal tower. Um, it's it's interesting, and I think I mentioned this after most games. Um, seeing the advancements made even in between games, yeah, um, there are a lot of things done differently in this game than even the previous three. Um, and that's just kind of cool to see. Because they really like start really uncanny valley in mm -hmm. the second game and then as you go through the games they slowly get better to the point where you kind of feel comfortable with the animation and yeah the animation the is really rough and feels uncomfortable especially in the first two games i feel like the second one's the worst of it oh yeah um, absolutely. the third one's really bad too though um, yeah it is by this one we're getting to the point where it's actually quite good in my opinion um and it there's there's still some things in future games where it feels very uncomfortable but overall um i feel like it's better than it was yeah and we certainly haven't gotten to like the the scary games yet because there are definitely some games that are way more scary than others hey yeah hey, you can't show those last three names we didn't even talk to them <laughs> We never talked to Ned, Bess, or George in this <laughs> no, game. No, we didn't. We actually did pretty good in this game. Yeah. There, at one point, I, I thankfully remembered what uh, what we needed to do. Right. So, um, this is going to be it for uh, this short series. Um, not 100% sure what we're going to do next, but uh, we'll be jumping into that. Um at some point in the future, we'll be doing the next Nancy Drew game. That'll be the final scene. So we'll, uh, we'll, uh, call it there. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please let us know. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.